Marco, but be careful. Looks like a complete success. I've used the same idea to build a remote control computer. It can guide real ships on hazardous missions with no risk to human life. Hey! Orko, watch what you're doing! It's not me! Something's wrong with the controls. Good grief. It hit the royal chamber. If this had happened an hour later, the king and queen would have been in there. I'm sorry, man-at-arms. It wasn't your fault, Orko. It was mine. I've failed dozens of times on the remote control project. Just when I thought I had the real computer working, this happens. I've done my best, but it's, it's not good enough. It's time for me to quit. No, Father. Every new invention has its failures. You mustn't let it get to you. Tila, this was just a toy rocket. Imagine what would have happened if this had been a full-sized ship. I won't have a disaster like that on my conscience. Oh, no. And you won't be able to live with yourself if you quit now. Don't give up, Duncan. I know you can do it. Well, thanks, Adam. I'll give it one more try. But if it doesn't work perfectly this time, so help me, I will resign from my job. Poor man at arms. His remote control computer has been giving him so many problems. <laughs> I think we should help him out, Trapjaw. Help him? Why would you do that? Why am I surrounded by fools? Just watch me, you pile of scrap iron. Maybe you'll learn something. First, I need the most vicious and evil beast in all my menagerie. Half the mara beast will do nicely. I still don't see how that creature is going to help us. Just watch and keep your trap jaw shut. There, an exact duplicate of the Mara Beast, made out of pure electrical energy. Fire your miniaturization ray. <laughs> This creature will go into Man-at-Arms' remote control computer and take it over. Every machine in the palace will do my bidding. Uh, and no one will know about it. They'll, they'll, they'll blame it on the computer. Man-at-Arms will be finished. You'll bite your way right into that machine, won't you? <laughs> That's what I'll call you. Bite! Everything seems to be in order. There's no room for error. This computer can control anything. From this drill to the palace defense system. Let's get a scout ship ready for a test flight. I keep this spy beam permanently aimed at Man-at-Arms lab. Since Bite is made of energy, he can ride the beam straight into the lab. Fly away, little Bite! <laughs> I can't wait to see Man-at-Arms expression when every one of his crescent machines goes wild! <laughs> Keep going, Bite. You must move deeper into the computer to its main control center. There, Bite, the main circuit. <laughs> 
the brain of a whole computer. Now, connect yourself to those inputs, and you will be in control of the whole computer. that you control the computer. You can command any machine in the palace. Prepare your defenses. It's ready to go without a pilot. Now let's see how well the remote control computer can fly this ship. ship in there. That is what we're going to find out. By the power of Grayskull! some problems, man-at-arms. I'm afraid you're right. We'd better get up there. I didn't leave that door closed. Looks like somebody doesn't want us to get in. Understand it. That remote control suddenly has a mind of its own. But that's impossible. I knew I should have quit. It must be some flaw in the computer that I overlooked. This is all my fault. Couldn't we just turn off the current? Grief. The central power supply. I hope that computer hasn't gotten to it yet. Man at arms, wait! He man! That computer couldn't do all this by itself. This whole thing smells of Skeletor. You could be right, but I can't leave here now. I can. It's too dangerous. If there's a chance that it's Skeletor's sabotage, I owe it to my father to find out. Otherwise, he'll blame himself for this for the rest of his life. How can you get there? The computer's controlling all our vehicles. But it doesn't control Battle Cat. All right, for man at arm's sake, but be careful. Cat, take Tila to Snake Mountain. What's the plan, Man in Arms? I use this chamber for testing new rays. Its shielded walls should prevent the computer's beam from interfering with this. Orko, fire this at me. What? It's only a shrinking ray. It won't hurt me. Just make me small enough to get inside that computer. Now do it. Okay. I hope it works. <laughs> Men in arms, where are you? Down here. <sighs> now get me to that computer.
wait here, Orko, and be careful. The computer's using machines to defend itself. You be careful, too. I'm small enough to slip past them. Then I'm going to shut that computer off myself. Wait here, cat. Now that I'm small, I've got to do my best to get inside that computer and shut it off. Friends, I'll never forgive myself. Got to stop you, track. The sooner the better. I can't control myself. those wires up later. Now, to find Man-at-Arms. Hmm. As I remember, Skeletor's main control center ought to be down there. Incredible! Well, with that little electronic demon of yours running Man-at-Arms' computer, you control the whole palace and just about every machine in it. you find out? Skeletor's created some sort of electronic demon called Byte. It's running the computer. Good work. Only how do we get inside the computer to fight it? My father once said he was working on some sort of shrinking ray. Let's find him and ask him about it. I've been looking for him and can't find him. So there's only one hope now. The Sorceress. Battle Cat <laughs> to Grayskull. <laughs> So, will you make me small enough to fight this demon sorceress? I will. But as you know, my powers do not extend beyond the walls of Grayskull. I will cast the spell here, then become Zoar the Falcon to carry you back to the palace. Unseen powers of Grayskull Hall, change He-Man from large to small. <laughs> Creature. 
that I somehow created. Not you, man-at-arms. Skeletor. What? How do you... Tila went to Snake Mountain and found out. Now, let's get that creature's attention. Let's just say I got a real charge out of that guy. Let's follow him. How? He's pure energy traveling at the speed of light. Wait, look where we are. This is the computer's energy filter. All the electricity coming into the computer goes through here. That creature is made of energy, positive energy. So? Have you ever heard the phrase, opposites attract each other? If we could generate a negative energy charge... It would be drawn straight toward him. Like a magnet. How do we do it? By aiming those electrodes together. It should reverse the polarity and make a negative charge. This will take us straight to him. Ray to get back to our normal sizes. Why not send him back to where he came from? Let him play around in Skeletor's computers. I think Skeletor will go fooling around with any more electronic demons once he's had a taste of his own medicine. You weren't to blame for any of this, Duncan. Skeletor must have known you were upset over those failures, and he took advantage of it. I should never have let myself get so discouraged. I'm grateful to you both for the risks you took for me. I tried to make this computer perfect, but... Oh, don't worry, Father. You did your best, and you never do anything less. As He-Man always says, when, when you, you do, do your, your best, best, you're, you're never, never a failure. failure. Right? Right. In today's story, my father accepted the responsibility for something which wasn't his fault. And he didn't stand around trying to blame someone else. Instead, he did something about making things right. And he succeeded, <laughs> with a little help from He-Man. Now, we all make mistakes, and when we do, we shouldn't be afraid to admit them. And when they aren't our fault, well, don't waste precious time putting the blame elsewhere. Just do what you can to make things right. See y'all soon. <laughs>